In this video, we're going to show you how to install a Boomba Racing billet aluminum dipstick handle onto an OEM dipstick. We offer these for a variety of Ford, Honda, Subaru, and Hyundai platforms. While they vary slightly from one another, this video applies to all of them. Start off by removing the OEM O-rings. You won't be needing these. Next, we need to separate the metal dipstick from the plastic handle. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this. One way is with a bench vise, like you see here. Clamp it in and apply pressure in order to deform the plastic, being very careful not to damage the dipstick itself. Loosen, rotate, and repeat until you're able to break free the metal dipstick from the handle. Another method is to use a belt sander to grind down the plastic until you're able to break free the metal dipstick from the handle. Again, be very careful not to damage the dipstick itself. Now we can attach the Boomba Racing handle to the dipstick. There will be two different styles depending on which vehicle you have, either set screws or roll pins. If you have the set screw style, back out the set screws with the included Allen wrench. Insert the metal dipstick all the way into the handle and tighten the screws evenly, alternating between sides. Make sure all screws are tightened and sit flush with the aluminum so that way they don't interfere when you stick this back in your engine. If you have the roll pin style, insert the metal dipstick all the way into the handle and drive in each roll pin, making sure it passes through the dipstick. We recommend using a non-marring hammer along with either a punch or a dowel, so that way you don't mess up the finish, <laughs> like I did here. Oops. You get what I mean though. Make sure all roll pins are flush with the aluminum so they don't interfere when you stick this back into your engine. And that's it, you're all set. Your Boomba Racing dipstick handle is installed and it's ready for use.